welcome to my kit room again. Today I'm going to be looking at the stoves that I use when I'm on adventures. And I have four setups of stove for cooking my food and they are in front of me here. Now, normally I would just be using my stoves to boil water. The kind of nutrition I take on my adventures are things like couscous, noodles, uh, dehydrated food, porridge, dried coffee, that kind of things you just need to add water, rehydrate and eat. The reason for that is so you have to carry less water so you don't have to clean any of these while you're on the adventure. Like obviously if you're next to a river or something that's a bit easier but I like to just keep it nice and simple and uh, so these are basically just about boiling water. Now one of the things to bear in mind is where are you going on your adventure and how are you going to get the, the fuel for that adventure. Now here I've got two that are using gas and I've got two setups uh, or one and a half setups that are using um, here I'm using biethanol spirit fuel or you can use methylated spirits or that kind of things. Uh, the one thing I am missing is I don't have a kind of gasoline diesel uh, stove. It is something I'm looking at getting and I'm doing the research. Uh, basically between the Primus and the MSR at the moment, but I haven't made my decision. So just going to talk about what I actually use. Uh, but on fuel, you can't fly with fuel, so just make sure you know where you're going to get your fuel at the other side. And if you're going on a really big adventure, maybe have a backup, which is what I will talk about a little bit today. So if I'm going light and fast, this is what I use. This is the MSR Pocket Rocket 2. It's a nice little compact stove set that has everything you need in one little uh, package. Now you have the little top. It comes with some, some tongs. I actually just need these at home because I don't really need them. Uh, and then you have this, the actual stove thing here. You can fit the gas inside and then it comes with a pot and a cup. Now this cup thing is absolutely priceless. It perfectly fits porridge. You can crumble up an instant noodle inside it and it is just the right size. So find this a really useful uh, thing about this stove set. So what you have here is you basically just attach your, um, your little cooker, your little stove, straight onto the gas like so and I'm not going to do it properly but there you go and then you just put your stove on top uh, water it's got a nice little plastic bit around the rim so you're not going to burn your fingers it does get hot but you can use uh, a buff or something rather than having to carry pinches a uh, great little set this is what I've used for running across Iceland. I use this for cycling across Australia um, and it performed really well at all times. The only thing it doesn't have is any wind protection, but I always have my Power Traveler uh, Falcon 21, which works perfectly as a wind barrier for this cooker. So if you're ever looking for a kind of look at the kit you're already taking and work out if that can be wind barrier it's just one left piece of kit to take now leave that aside then move on to this this is the msr wind burner one liter this is what i used on aconcagua it's what i used on the hayduke trail um, it's a fantastic all-in-one um, cooker but it's just got a bit of extra power over this one but that comes from the size and it has a bit of protection built in from the wind again it has uh, the cup that sits on the bottom the one, one thing I find difficult about this is I find this cup gets stuck on to the bottom of here, which makes it difficult to take off or just annoying if you're cold or tired. But once it off, once it's off, it's a great little cup to be putting your noodles and your porridge into. Um, again, inside you can fit your gas and then you have the cooker. The cooker just has a regulator in here for the gas. It doesn't have an igniter like the jet boil. I actually think that this is a good thing because it's one less thing to go wrong. You just have something that switches on the gas and then you're cooking. Uh, again, this just screws straight onto the gas and then this slips nicely onto the top. 
Uh, it cooks water really quickly. You're looking about two to three minutes to have boiling water, depending on how much you, you have inside. It's also great if you're up on mountains because it's got quite a big capacity. You can actually shove quite a lot of snow in if you're having to melt snow, uh, which is slightly more advantageous than this. So if I'm doing high altitude, this is what I would take for that adventure. Then you have the Trangier. This is what I used when I was doing running the Americas. Uh, I didn't know what the fuel situation was going to be like. I didn't know what kind of foods I was going to be cooking. So this setup allowed me to have full flexibility there. Uh, and once I worked out how to buy uh, methylated spirits or denatured alcohol as it was in America, then it was all very easy. It's a lovely little compact system. And if you speak to the people at Trangia, they'll tell you this is not about being light. This is not about being fast and efficient and all that kind of stuff. This is about the joy of cooking outside. And it really does bring that. So the top comes off and this is a frying pan. You have a lovely little holder there so you can cook bacon and all that kind of stuff. Then you open up inside. This one's a little bit battered from years of use and I have a little kettle. Inside the kettle, I keep my stove. I'm still with the original yellow bag that came with it when I first used it back in 2014. Uh, and there you have your little stove. Inside you have two further pots for cooking, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I actually ended up using one for cooking and one for eating. So uh, it gives you that flexibility there. Then, for wind protection, you have this, so you have the base, and on top of the base goes the stove, which has a cap and a regulator on it. And then you have this, which fits on top, giving you wind protection. And then on top of that, you add your pot. And again, you have the little pinches to be able to cook perfectly. I found this great because I could cook things like popcorn, I could do pasta dishes, rice dishes. It just gave me so much more flexibility to cook. I really, really enjoyed using this and I have a, it has a very special place in my heart. And if I'm not going light and fast, if I'm going camping with a car or something, this is a great option to take. Now, I was mentioning earlier about if you don't, have the, uh, you don't know what your fuel situation is gonna be going forward. So what I've done here is I actually remove the alcohol burning stove, the denatured uh, alcohol or ethanol burner, uh, and I take this on my adventure with me. And then online, I managed to find this little clever device. Um, it's on eBay from China. And uh, these two little bits of metal uh, slot together. And then when you open up the Trangia, you can just slot this on to the top of that. And then using the uh, pot, which I already have, I stick that on top and then I can cook my meals. Again, using the solar panel as a windshield. So this just adds an extra mechanism just so you're not gonna get caught short at any point on your adventure. So these are the different stoves I use. I'll put all the details below. I hope this has been useful. If you've got any questions, just fire them my way and I'll see if I can help. I look forward to doing an update of this video when I have a kind of omni-fuel burner uh, in this group. Thank you very much.